Well, good afternoon. This is another day in the Twisted Knot Wood Shop, and today is December 26th, Boxing Day, and the shop is in a little bit of a mess. Uh, I've been working on a couple of projects for uh, a couple of Christmas things, and one of them was a television, a widescreen TV, that one of my best friends here donated to the shop and the sign there says yes Joe there is a Santa Claus well he's a frequent uh, worker here in the shop he comes in all the time his name is Jim Morgan and he's in here as much as I am but um, uh, he decided that he was going to donate that TV so for the last hour I've been, or hour and a half I suppose, I've been monkeying with uh, being able to mount it. And yes, you can probably go and get a ceiling mount fixture from wherever, but what I did was drew up a uh, model on SketchUp and put a man standing there and the ceiling at 10 foot height, which is what these ceilings are here. And I had that man standing there, uh, pretending that he was watching the, the TV screen. And I determined that a 10 degree angle was just perfect for anyone standing here at the workbench. Or if we doing something over there that you could look up and... Uh, be able to see the TV screen without craning your neck too far. So I took the that 10 degree angle and made a base plate right there. Uh, drilled the holes that uh, the on center for the mounting holes that were in the TV, and then that uh, block there, which is the 10 degree angle, and it's got a through hole. Um, don't pay any attention to the one on the right. Uh, that's for um, spiders to go into and have a nest. Uh, this through hole there is for this bracket I have up here in the ceiling. It's a piece of three-quarter inch pipe with a, another wooden bracket glued and screwed to the truss up above. And those cables hanging down are for the stereo uh, output from the television over to the stereo there you see hanging above the router table. And uh, so that sound from the television can come from all six speakers. There's four in this room and we're all in the main shop floor and two over there in the finish room. And so that piece of black pipe is just three quarter inch black pipe that you would typically get for your um, you know, pipe clamps. I left the bottom end threaded, and I'll show you that in a second, uh, what the reason for that is. And then up top, there's a through bolt, a quarter tony through bolt that goes through the, through the uh, support mount up there, and, and it hangs down, and then that hole that you've seen in the mounting bracket on the television is a little bit uh, uh, more diameter than the pipe is. And the reason for that is because we play darts here and I want to be able to turn that TV so it faces, faces the playing area here and when you look up and you'll see the television pointing right at us and eventually there will be a computer, uh, a laptop computer with, uh, with a scoring program that I came up with. Uh, it's actually an Excel program, and you just plug it in, and then it does all of the um, the scoring for you as when you're throwing darts. So how do you hold it up there? Well, remember I said the hole in the mounting bracket is a little bit uh, uh, more diameter than the out than the outer diameter of the pipe. So when the pipe gets stuck through this hole, a washer goes on and then just an end cap goes on and screws on that threaded portion of the pipe I just showed you a second ago. 
and here in just a little while my buddy Bob another best friend is coming over to help me install it or hang it up there and uh, I'll pick up this video uh, after it's installed and let you see what it looks like talk to you in a while okay here we are back about oh, an hour hour and a half after I, the last video Bob my buddy over there showed up <coughs> and um, I had a set of sawhorses on the ground here, on the ground, on the floor, <coughs> excuse me, and um, a piece of plywood so we could stand up there, and we lifted the television up, and I was telling you earlier where that hole is a little bit bigger than the diameter OD of the pipe, so it could slide up through that uh, support bracket, and then you can see the cap that's, um, that's screwed onto the end of the pipe with the threads and then that 10 degree angle uh, cut on that plate projects the television down instead of having it flat and standing from back over here midway or so uh, across the shop it, you don't have to, like I said, you don't have to crane your neck like you know if it was flat and so also I told you it was, it was meant to be able to get turned so Bob will reach up there and turn the television uh, on that hinge point and you can see standing here if we were sitting here playing darts or or here at the table um, uh, playing cards or whatever we can look up and and there's the television there and it spins back just as easy the other direction as uh, to watch it from say over there at the workbench and well that's it uh, if you guys want to do something like that uh, it's easy enough to do it's just a little piece of pipe a couple of boards and some precisely drilled holes and you can have the same thing talk to you all later bye